again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back. It is good to see you here, and applause to you. Thank you very much for tuning in for today's episode of The Fabled Woods with PAX and PAX East and all other PAX conferences and E3 and many other uh, gaming-related conventions canceled due to you-know-what. Many, many games have been uploaded to Steam recently that have demos that you can try out that are coming soon. So this being no different will allow us to jump into some Fabled Woods and explore an area where something mischievous or mysterious or horrific has happened. I don't know yet what to expect, but I'm excited to jump into the Fabled Woods and see what it has to offer. Now, if you liked games on the channel like Infra, you know, urban explorer or exploration type games, then this might be the game for you. Very heavy uh, narrative-driven story with a little bit of uh, exploration around it. And it looks incredible, by the way. This is one of the most be like the best-looking forest games that I've seen in a very long time where it does a really good job of kind of displaying what the world has to offer. Aside from when I played um, Not Without Me or Without Her or some... I can't quite remember the game, but it was the one with the bunker in like or the Czech Republic. And, uh, well, I guess it may have been Czech... Well, whatever. Anyway, check mark. Check marks the spot. Checkers. Uh, chess. Let's go. All right. Here we. Are. Here we go. New game. Visitor. so long since I've had company. Hello there. What a surprise. Not a lot of folks come and visit these parts, especially in light of everything that's happened here. My name's Larry. I Hi, was Larry. here in search of my son, William. He went missing years wow. ago while camping at the cabin we had built together when he was a boy. Explore these woods like I once did. I must warn you, however, there are things you may discover that will be difficult or strange to hear. Please listen so that we all may rest. Please listen so that we may... What? Is he talking from beyond the grave? Okay. This game has motion blur as well, but I turned that off. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the leaves and such fluttering and a little bit of a breeze. Beautiful. Butterflies and birds spotted. Yeah, you know how it is with these types of games. The more beautiful they are, the uh, worse it is for the people who are involved with it. There's going to be some brutal murder or something like that, for sure. But I don't know exactly. Wow. We must be in the Netherlands. Yes, the high mountains of the Netherlands. Ah, yes. The beautiful waterfall. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe America? Wow, that's a hell of a lot of birds. Yeah, I think we might be... Maybe near the American Rockies. This could be Canada, maybe. Um, I don't know. Oh, end of the path. Uh-oh. Camping is known to get quite intense. We better see what might have happened over here. Beautiful little lake. I'm so happy we decided to go camping. It's so peaceful in the woods. Uh-oh. Okay, music's picking up. What's going on? There's a backpack. Can't open it or anything. And it doesn't look like I can crouch. Well, I would like to take that flashlight, but no can do. Anything suspicious about the tent? I'm sorry, but it's become such a mess. Hmm. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, oh boy. Let go of him. Leave us alone. Stop. Stop. Oh boy. Well, it looks like there was three people here. There's three chairs. So maybe mom, a new boyfriend and a son or daughter? Well, he she said him, so Oh boy. Okay, well, obviously all the... Oh, there's blood trail over this way. Obviously all the stuff you'd bring camping. The chairs, the stove. Oh, boy. Well, this made a dramatic turn. Ah, jeez, that was bright. Holy crap. Ooh. 
We're walking through water? Why did you do this? So many games. Where is William? What did you do with him? So many games do this, like, generic water thing. Alright, that was Larry talking. Looking for William, his son. So, a third person attacked? I just wanted to find my son. Somebody, like... Maybe hit the mom in the head and then took the son off into the woods? The hell? Oh, now we're in a cabin. There's a grill. Why would you put a tent outside of the cabin? Alright, what's this here? Bug spray? Kill all. Yeah, that's a great that's a, that's a great omen for this. Oh look, active ingredients is DEET. 100% DEET? Didn't that, like, didn't they find that caused cancer or something like that? Also stuff in Agent Orange. DEET was used uh, a lot in Vietnam. I remember my uncles and stuff talking about that during the Vietnam War. To try to repel insects and whatnot. And of course, Agent Orange, uh, the thing that was used to destroy, well, basically trees and leaves so they could easily see through an area without... Um, Without, uh, like, lighting it on fire. Tiger Brewery. What does that say? Something lager? Hmm. 5% alcohol. Someone bought, brought some brewskis, bruh. A couple of brews in the cooler. Fire brings people together out here. 20 liters. You Maybe understand. Canada? When the chores around the cabin were done, William would always beg to get a fire going by the river. Of course, it always started out as a much larger fire than we needed for our little pit. Nothing to distract you. No worries, guilt. We were at peace with the world. So this must be the cabin him and his son built? Jeez, how old was their son? That's a lot of work for a kid. And just a single man. This would take at least two able-bodied, like, you know, fully grown adults. To lift all this lumber and put it into play. This is a very large structure. For two people. What's going on in here? All the tear... Yeah, there's, like, been chairs tipped over. Uh, was that logs and stuff by the fireplace? A bunch of tools, it looks like. Oh, there's a river down here. Okay. Uh, there's another fireplace, too. Wow, they have two fireplaces going in this place. One in the room, and then another one here. The big old fireplace. Oh, Dad's smoking some Marlboro Reds. And also some uh, cigarette uh, ashtray there. Okay. Wonder when this is taking place. I haven't seen anything really to indicate anything later than like 1990 or maybe 1980. Okay, we have a few pathways to go here. Hold on, is there anything off this way? No? Okay. Alright, looks like we can go left or right. Well, we went uh, right before, but there is something right here. So let's see. Ooh, butterfly. Beautiful. Oh, he's going to land on that chair. Oh, picnic. Nice. All right. Let's see. We've got ourselves a little chef kit with a knife and a few things. This, oh, yeah. Sunscreen. 30. 30. Uh, what they call that? SPF or whatever? SPF 30. A little coffee mug. And thing for water. Okay, very peaceful. Oh, very beautiful down here. Oh, a canoe. But for one person, that you'd think they would bring at least a. Uh... Have you ever found yourself feeling like you're being watched? I swear it on my life. As I was fishing right here on this lake, there was something watching me. I grabbed my binoculars to take a look, but I saw nothing. It felt like something was staring right at me. I know bears roam these parts, but this was not a bear. Whatever it was, I got the sense it did not want me here. Swine brew. The refreshing taste of pork. No. I also notice everything seems to be made from this brand, Decogon. So, uh, oh, was there blood there? No, okay. All right, let's go back the other way. I like this so far. It's kind of nice, these uh, interactive stories, to figure out you know, what's happening. Now, again, this is just a demo, so I don't know if there's going to be, like, combat to this or any element of survival. You know, this would be like playing just the beginning of Long Dark and not knowing exactly what there is to do in it. 
Although, of course, that game was immediately... Uh, there's still more secrets to learn. Yes, let me go to secrets. Ah! Okay, uh, so they're telling me I can't leave until I click on more stuff to find more narrative. Okay, well, we went to the lake. I touched all the stuff there. Touched the football. And I didn't see anything over that way. Okay, let's go back to the camping site. Also, there's no sprint in the game at the moment. Maybe that butterfly is going to show me what, what's going on. Okay, anything I didn't touch. We touched the beer. Can't touch the canoe. Beautiful little waterfall. I can't walk in the water. Oh, a key. How did I not notice that? <laughs> you probably did. Well, good. At least we know the game won't let you walk past stuff unless you uh, discover everything. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, here we go. The place feels so empty without William, but it's held up well over the years. Seems like a blink of the eye since we were last here together. Mm. Oh. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. There went the flashlight. Ah, another key. Okay, so that leads to the spare room. These beds do not look comfortable at all. They literally just put sleeping bags under these? That is not comfortable. Yeah, why not put a mattress down right there? You put the air mattress at least on the on the bed. Now wait a minute, this lantern's still lit. I didn't even think about this until now. Look at this garbage. They were laughing at me. Told me to go back to the cabin and stay out of the sun for a bit. This town has had too many disappearances over the years. The police couldn't even find my son. It isn't safe out here. They need to be warning the people not to come into these woods until the disappearances have been solved. There is something happening out here, and no one will do a dang thing about it. Such a shame. Uh, Larry was ranting about a wolf-like creature that he claimed hunts along the trees and had menaced him on several occasions. So nobody wants to come out here to look for some sort of a giant animal that could be attacking people slash uh, maybe perhaps a werewolf. Well, let's do a quick check of drawers. Crazy newspapers again. You ever oh, see something what is this? And just get a real sense. You shouldn't be where you are. That bottle you're looking at is what started this whole mess. Turns out mine wasn't the only cabin out here anymore. Next to that cabin was a cage, but it wasn't empty. And it weren't no bear. It had fur, gray and black like a wolf. But it also had skin rough like a man. I couldn't make sense of what I was seeing. I grabbed this bottle, hoping it might help me figure out what was going on. Man, these hot dog buns have not rotted. Larry must have been here recently, if those buns are still good. Patriot, America's number one double barrel bourbon whiskey with the giant explosion on it. Liquid amber. Wait, was that, uh, what was that? Oh, whiskey, okay, bourbon whiskey. Uh, sparkling wine. And, oh, that champagne. Nice. Okay, uh, so that was a bo bottle of something or other? I don't know what that is. I don't know what uh, resoinol is. Re resin? Some sort of a, oh boy, wait a minute, I just noticed this. Oh boy. Before we go in there, I just want to see if there's anything else. Okay. Hello, werewolf man? Oh boy, what the hell? Larry! Man, hold on. Jeez, you lost a lot of weight. Let me get you those hot dog buns. Oh, I can't move them. Okay. He's so skinny. Super mild charcoal filter. Nice. So no, no reaction from the character about the body? Okay. Well, something like literally ate him alive. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? Oh, maybe in here? I can't react to the body at all. 
There's a knife. <laughs> Turns out that machete weren't much use, was it? Sorry you had to see this, but you can't see the whole puzzle unless you got yourself all the pieces. This is where my story ends, but yours carries on. I was never able to find my son, but I know he's out there somewhere. He would have followed the path up the hill. There's a clearing just on the other side. Follow the river till it ends. That should get you there. Though I uh, dearly love to follow, I can go no further than this, as my spirit is stuck here in this cabin amongst the trees. Go now. There are more stories to be told. More secrets Larry, waiting to be discovered. That's not true, Larry. Succeed where I failed. Maybe then we can finally rest peacefully. First of all, you said you were resting peacefully. You just told me to listen so you could rest peacefully. Second of all, what happened, Larry? You and another person were here in this cabin and then like a fight broke out and you got stabbed in the you got stabbed and then bled out here? And what was the bottle? Okay, I don't know. You guys will have to tell me. I'm sure you guys know. There's a million of you and one of me. Yeah, okay, let's go outside. Well, great. I can't bring the machete. I can't like get a gun. I can't bring a flashlight. Oh boy. Why? Why did we go back to the cabin? I knew we should have just kept walking. So Larry just somehow got ambushed in the cabin. Either somebody was in there with him or somebody walked in or something walked in and uh, Larry had a bad time. Where's Wifey? And by the way, if it were a werewolf, why would it have killed somebody with a rock? Like somebody first got killed by a rock and then the son got taken and then the, fa the father started looking for the son. Okay. Well, these waterfalls are pretty, though. That's beautiful. Wow, this is really nice looking. I do like games where you get to walk through the woods, but it's always these type of uh, scary murder games. I came Every time. Here looking for my son. There are no animals here, but there are bones. Something's out there watching me. Why won't anyone listen? any sense why was I so stupid to trust them the bones were everywhere like the body was torn apart wait what body ma'am I just wanted to find my son oh well oh come oh all these games are so cool. I want to keep playing more. All right, well, the Fabled Woods whitelist now, or put on your wish list. I keep saying whitelist, but I guess it's kind of the same thing, like a pre-approval list of wanting something or whatnot. The Fabled Woods. All right, coming out soon. This is the type of game I kind of want to play. I hope there's more to it where you can uh, pick up stuff and interact with it, like an infra where, you know, you can move boxes around to jump up on top of stuff. You use ladders. Hopefully the woods gets a little more complicated than just being like a werewolf in the woods, but we'll see. Could be a really good game that I might want to do a playthrough of. Otherwise, just as a cool first look at people doing individual projects and whatnot. And on the channel, we take a wide range of uh, looks at everything from AAA down to just single developer stuff. And this is definitely no different. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Hopefully, The Fabled Woods comes out soon. And we'll see a full playthrough on that one. I'd like to uh, get involved in this environment and see what it's like. But I'll see you all next time. Thanks for being here, guys. You are amazing. Best community on YouTube. And I hope to see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.